So this is Sergeant Blast. Uh, the name is inspired by Robert Wallace. There's a robot on there called Sergeant Bash, and that's kind of where I stole the name from. So the idea is this is supposed to be a tank car. This was initially a Hot Wheels fast four-wheel drive. And here's a couple of pictures of what it used to look like. So unlike the last car, I didn't think there was much needed to be done to improve this. Just obviously armoring up the wheels a bit and just adding details here and there. Um, if you've never seen it, what it looked like before, here's a couple of images of what it used to look like. So I'll jump along now to the video where I show you how I built this. And then we'll come back and I'll go through the rest of it. So this is the work in progress of Sergeant Bash. So I've just had to make this more armoured up. And just add bits and pieces here. So I used some styrene, great styrene to cover the wheels. I'd love to put tracks on this but I don't think I could make functioning tracks on this scale. Which is something I'd want. Uh, I just had, had a plow. I had a better machine gun. Initially it did have two of these guns on but they fell off one fell off and bit a tiny little part I never saw it again I've raised the turret up a bit um, just had to add these little things to hold on the exhaust as well as a rear plow to trim these down took the rear shield this is the re same rear shield that was originally on two gun that's sat over there now um, as well as adding this machine gun and just trying to make this a piece of armour up. This is probably not the best job. And I'll probably repaint the entire car. So yeah. Initially I did want to have the wind lights showing through the um, plow here. But when I tried to cut it in it's difficult to try and cut the, the holes in the plow. To line up with the little headlights and it just didn't work so I just kind of went with this extra grated bit. Probably doesn't show up because it's white but when I repaint it it'll look a bit better. So I'll paint it and you'll see it again in a minute. So yeah I'll paint it up now and finished. So the first thing you'll notice is these bullet holes I added. I've gone over the whole car with a complete wash and obviously repainted it. Got to mention these. These are tracks that kind of indicate that it's supposed to be a tanker. I did some smoke here on the. Uh, track. I should have really painted some more onto the roof. More bullet holes. Just adding more detail here because the fuel tank was exposed before. So these are just kind of make it look like they're holding on the exhausts. So to make this just one big slab of steel. That's obviously got rusted over a bit and. Obviously there's a bullet holes and rust. The idea is this will probably be interchangeable and they'll just keep changing this over time. More bullet holes on this side. So yeah. One of the cool things I do like about I did get to work on this is the turret actually turns. So in case oops. In case I'm pointing to someone who's chasing them, they can shoot back. Yeah. So that's about it for this one. I'll finish off with the next slideshow as usual, and uh, I've got some other pics there. Um, the other vehicles uh, from uh, Gaslight. No, the other vehicles in the pic are from Devil's Run. Um, I might do a video on that at some point. I'm not too sure, but I just dug them out and thought it'd be cool to use them in the background. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.